practice go? Went really good. Uh, we won a 30-minute live segment there at the end and uh, very physical. Uh, I thought the offense moved the ball well today, not only throwing the ball, but running the ball. Uh, really impressed again with uh, Kavika Johnson. Uh, Trayvon Hughes has really had an excellent camp at the running back spot, you know, and again, we're looking for uh, the quality backups behind Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones got some good quality work today. Uh, defense came up with some turnovers, so good give and take, good physicality. Uh, got a lot done today. Watching that long run with Mets, do you look at him at all at Wildcat? Oh, there's no doubt. You know, uh, you know, Mets can do a lot of things for us. And uh, again, like Kavika, you know, we're just not going to limit him to quarterback. You know, he's helping us out on special teams, and he'll have a role. You know, both those guys aren't going to be standing on the sidelines. They're going to be playing for us, and uh, I think they're going to be exciting players for the minor fans. Leads right into the next question. Uh, when you get into Arkansas week, who's going to be your scout team quarterback? <laughs> we'll get to that point when we get there. <laughs> Once we get back from camp. We're going to evaluate every position. We'll come up with our scout teams, and uh, regardless of who it is, uh, they'll have a heck of a scout team quarterback. I mean, if you're a third and fourth stringer playing that much, I mean, would, would they be scouting quarterbacks? Uh, probably not. You know, if they're, if they're figuring into the role, so, uh, you know, uh, probably the fifth string quarterback would be the scout team quarterback, and, and we've got quality there, too. Are you going to put a bet down at the horse track today? No. Uh, kind of issued a no gambling law, and, and Kind of hurts me because I really would enjoy throwing one down, but I can't. <laughs> I think that's illegal, anyways. Uh, the, they, they're allowed to. Yeah, they ain't doing it though. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, doing something on uh, the offensive line, I guess uh, you said that's what you wanted to build around it. Are you there? You know, I think uh, we've gotten to the point where we're too deep. Um, unfortunately, our first year we, we weren't even one deep. Um, and we've got some quality freshmen. But the goal is to have a three deep offense and defensive line. I think in some spots we're there, other spots we still need to do some recruiting and, and, and developing. But uh, Coach Leftwich does an unbelievable job developing those guys, and Coach Browning does. And uh, uh, they're both playing uh, excellent on both sides of the ball. Uh, I really like their physicality. Uh, I'm very pleased with the progress of both lines. I guess is that offensive line having something so veteran, does that make you feel better about everything you do? Yeah, and it's exciting. They're veteran and uh, other than Eric Lee, they're all back. So they're going to be around for the next few years. And same thing with defense, you know, we lose Roy, but the, the, the bulk of that group is, is back for the next few years. They're young, but they're also experienced because they had to be. They have they were thrown to the wolves early, and now they've had some experience under their belt, and uh, that's only going to pay off for us. Is anybody that's hurt now going to be back for the scrimmage, or is pretty much what you have now? Um, I think Jeremiah LaFosse will be out, um, uh, Moss will be out for sure, and Alvin Jones will be out, but uh, I think everybody else has an opportunity to be back for the scrimmage. Uh, we really don't have an injury that would, I would look at the first game and say everybody's going to be healthy. You know, I think everybody's going to be there for the first game. Is Jeremiah going to play in the scrimmage? No, uh, I'll probably do that precautionary, but his knee responded fine. He'll, he'll be fine. Um, it's pretty good. I got a lot of help, you know, the older guys, Roy, you know, Gino, Nick. And uh, the transition was pretty easy because, you know, they, they helped me through everything. Um, what benefits does playing off his line knowing what they're trying to do with you? How does that help you in, uh, in your game plan? <laughs> well, um, we know it's a lot of uh, – well, of course, everybody knows we're run heavy. So, knowing when the power is coming and everything. So, you know what to expect with the blocks, with the guards and the centers and stuff uh, from inside. Uh, what's flying around today? Um, what, what are some things you think y'all can improve on in the next uh, couple weeks before the first game? Definitely tackling. You know, that's always something you can get better as as a defense. And uh, turnovers, fumbles, picks, and all that. Uh, you registered last year. Uh, how excited are you back to, to get back out on the field and help this team out this year? Oh, very excited. I mean, last year, I'm glad I got that year back and, you know, I learned some good things being on the sideline. But, there's, I mean, I came here to play, so it'll be nice, hopefully, to get on the field. Um, offense uh, is starting to click a little better. Uh, how's your relationship with receivers, tight ends coming along? It's, uh, Good. Uh, well, I think we have some good, good playmakers at that position. I think they're going to make my job a lot easier. Um, like you said, you have a lot of playmakers around you. How, how easy is it to just facilitate to them and get them the ball and let them do the work? Uh, it's, I mean, it's relatively easy. We have playmakers all around. We've got receivers stepping up, tight ends that can catch the ball, and obviously, you know, Aaron Jones, Darren LaFosse in the backfield, four O linemen returning. So really, all we have to do as quarterbacks is just make sure the operation goes smoothly and just kind of facilitate people, like you said, and. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, that's pretty easy on most plays. Sometimes it's a little bit tougher than people think, but I think we've been doing a decent job of it so far. And then one last question. What, what's something you would like to see the offense as a whole improve on over the next month before kickoff? Just consistency. You know, we'll have a drive or two where we're, you know, moving the ball good, and then, you know, we might have a three and out. 
you know, we have to eliminate that kind of inconsistency if we want to be, uh, you know, get to the places we want to be and have a good offense.